There are plenty of useful applications for suture materials in ophthalmology in the daily clinical routine. The list is just a small excerpt from indications and use scenarios, but may be the most important and famous ones. We use sutures in traumatology for a lit conjunctiva, iris or cornea defects. Eyelid and conjunctiva sutures we need in oculoplasty, glaucoma surgery, penetrating keratoplasty, IOL fixation and iris reconstruction. The difficulty and most cru crucial aspects of ophthalmology is the delicate anatomy and sensible structures of the eye, which requires high precision and concentration by the surgeon. Therefore, each indication requires specific characteristics of the suture material. As said, the eye is an extraordinary sensible organ which various different tissue characteristics and treatments resulting in individual characteristics for suture material. High tensor strength is required for two main reasons. First, you do not want the suture to rupture during suturing and second, the durability of the suture must withstand the daily movements and forces to fixate the tissue. By the way, knotting can reduce the bearable tensile strength by up to 50 persons, so it is not a negligible technical property. Another problem we encounter in suturing is a knotting position, which may be losing it sometimes after surgery. The ability of the suture to secure is the first position is essential for the success of your surgery. Besides, the knots shall be easy to tie. This is somehow a little conflict with the high tensile strength which make that the suture more stiff but there we need the flexibility of a suture for better knotting so you see it's not just a suture. Using multifilament suture enable both flexibility and high tensile strength. Capillarity is a process by which fluid and bacteria are carried into the interstices of multifilament fibers. Capillary sutures material should not be used in contaminated or infected sites. Coating reduces the capillarity of some sutures, therefore a low capillarity is needed. For sure, patient safety and the long-term health and well-being is our primary goal in every clinical aspect. This requires obviously the compatibility between the suture material and the eye tissue to prevent any complications. Next to the knotting and securing of the suture, there is an urgent need for the suture to easy glide through the various tissues. Otherwise, it would cause the tissue to rupture or other friction-related injuries. By gliding through the tissue which such small suture as well as see in the Onatec portfolio, the surgeon need to be able to see the suture during the whole procedure. That means that a vivid color or clearly distinguishable color of the suture is advantageous. For every suture task, there is a needle that also penetrates tissue and leads the suture. One of the most crucial factors for sensible structures, especially in the eye, is a penetration force. More force would mean more the surgeon dents or buckles the tissue. Therefore, minimal penetration force is the primary goal for every needle. In this graph you can see that only low penetration force is needed for the Onatech suture materials, indicating best possible 
characteristics for ophthalmic surgery. Not only the penetration force extremely low, but is also the death is more, which result in a steep rise. That translate to a smooth and easy tissue penetration. How to select the optimal suture? The decision is orientated by absorption characteristics, tissue compatibility, structure, texture and diameter, elasticity and stress. For the needle characteristics, you take into account the needle shape, the needle tip, the needle diameter, curvature, arc length and armed, whether it is single or double armed. When you choose the needle, you have to consider the shape of the tip. These are the available needle types, reverse cutting, for solid tissues and oculoplastics, taper point for self sealing sutures, example is a trabeculectomy and sensitive tissues, for example the iris, spatula shape for self sealing sutures on the cornea, soft cutting for solid tissues and the taper cutting for iris fascia sclerotic tissue for a minimal invasive and atraumatic procedure. The diameter can be indicated in two ways. There are the USP for United States Pharmacopeia and the European Pharmacopeia EP. The common used USP the highest number indicates the sinus suture diameter. In the European pharmacopoeia, the indicators are orientated on the real diameters in millimeters. In the synopsis, you can see the most important sutures and you see um, the smallest um, diameter for cornea sur surgery with 10.0 and more thicker sutures for scleral muscle or lead tissues. Specific tissues structures require specific sutures. I take Onasorb and Onabond sutures for eyelid and conjunctival suturing because of the strong blood circulation, the aesthetic aspect is very important and the goal is a minimal scaring. For many years in our clinic Onalon is a standard suture for cornea suturing because of our very good experience with that. The cornea has a stiff structure and the fibrin acts as an adhesive. The goal for the suture is a smooth wound edges. The iris is a strong blood circulating and extremely sensitive and poor or non-healing tissue. That's why we take Onaline for a gentle treatment. You will find a very good overview of all suture material from Onatech in the handout after the webinar.